with everything that's going on in the world, I didn't make a video last month. But that doesn't mean that the grind stopped. And I'm going to talk to you about why your grind shouldn't stop either. Let's go. What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel where I'm talking about paying off over $145,000 in debt. I started documenting this journey back in July of 2019. So if you're here to be motivated to pay off your debt, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to be notified when I upload a video. And if you also like the video, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button for me as well. So as I said in the intro last month, I did make a video because the world was crazy and I just didn't feel like anybody wanted to hear about a debt free journey when everybody was pretty much wondering if they were going to be laid off from their jobs and how they were going to pay their bills. So I was just like, I'm not going to make a video this month. We'll let it go. Despite that, though, I stayed focused and I stayed grinding on my mission to become debt free and to pay off this hundred and forty five thousand dollars in debt. If you follow me on Twitter, you know what my favorite hashtag is debt free or die trying. And that motto is not changing. I'm trying to get this debt gone. And as you can see from just the world around us, as soon as the coronavirus hit the United States, probably two to three weeks later, companies are asking for bailouts millions of dollars, the airlines, I mean, JC Penney's, uh, Neiman Marcus filing bankruptcy. So the companies are broke. The employees are broke. The NBA players talking about they live check to check. NFL players are notorious for being broke. America is just paycheck to paycheck. So it's just crazy how so fast Everybody's broke. Don't matter who you are. Everybody's broke. So that's why I feel like your grind should never stop. You should always be grinding at any point in life as much as you can to become debt free and become financially independent. Uh, because as you can see, these companies, they don't have your best interests at heart. They don't have any money, people. None. I mean, they got money, but they can't sustain you and the rest of your uh, people that you work with, they are destitute after three weeks. They are asking for a government bailout, which is just incredible. This is insane and just crazy. So my family didn't go off without being scathed in this whole coronavirus. My wife had to deal with some issues with her employer. Uh, but, you know, we've we've prepared for this. We're not going to just sit back and lay down. We're going to still continue to grind it out and continue to stay on the mission. So let's talk about the numbers. On my last video, I was down $13,967. This video, I am down an additional $5,877. That leaves me with $125,303 remaining on this debt-free journey. So just a few short months ago, I felt like I was not making enough traction, uh, but now I'm, I'm feeling really good and really positive about how much debt I've paid off in just a short period of time. Uh, like I said, I started really paying attention to the numbers in July, so I really feel good about I'm almost at that $20,000 mark of being seen the debt gone. So that's like really like a, I think that feels like a milestone number for me. And I don't know why it just feels good to say, yeah, I mean, I paid off 20,000 bucks kind of almost like saying I lost 20 pounds. Right. So I'm happy about that. Uh, I'm happy. I only have 125,000 left. I don't know if there's anything to be happy about, but neither here nor there. I have 125 K left out of the 145 and it feels good. It feels amazing to stay focused and stay grinding it out despite everything that's going on in the world. And I'm really confident about uh, the journey that I'm on 
to become financially independent because the the financial state of everybody, the majority of people in the world is paycheck to paycheck. And that's ultimately what I'm striving to be not a part of. And you should as well. Why you should stay on your grind. So I, w- I want to hear from you guys. If you're on a journey to be debt free, tell me how much in tell me in the comments how much you're paying off. And if you want, you can tell me how much you got left. I love to hear from you guys. So this is going to be a short video this month. I don't really have a lot to talk about. Just wanted to uh, put that out there and put my numbers up on, on the tube. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace.